wish I had all those incredible things that the other engines have. Then I'd be the coolest, most useful engine ever! But there's nothing special about me. Nothing at all. Wow, Dad. Victor and Kevin did a great job fixing up your funnel. Those guys at the Steamworks can do anything. Hmm. The Steamworks. So maybe you can fix me up with a crane or something, and maybe a steam shovel and a bell and a water cannon. Hmm. I don't know. Uh... I heard Duck saying you could do anything. Oh yes, we can. Anything. <laughs> Hey guys, presenting the new Rebecca! Um, no. Aww. I'm sorry, Rebecca. You're just not a crane, shovel, water, cannon type of engine. Oh, yes, quite right. Thanks, Victor. <laughs> Yoo hoo! Rebecca! Hello! Are you back for another game of Guess What's in My Shovel? No, thanks. Not now. Oh. But you said you loved this game. Are you OK? What's wrong? It's just there's nothing special about me. Belle is a hero who puts out fires, Harvey has a crane that he uses to help others, and you can dig holes with your steam shovel. But what do I do? Who am I? I'm just a... Steamy. A steamy among steamies. You're more than that, Rebecca. You work hard and do a good job. And I think you do something that none of the other engines do. You see the best in everyone. Oh, Marion's right. You do do that, Rebecca. You're kind and funny, and, and when you laugh, you cheer everyone up. That helps everyone to do their best. Oh, come on, you slow coaches. Can't you see I'm trying to work? All this hanging around is bad, my swerves. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, it's Daisy the Diesel Railcar. Daisy doesn't need coaches. Oh, wow! An engine with no need for coaches? <gasps> How brilliant is that? Yes, it is. I am quite brilliant. <laughs> Thank you for noticing. That's what I mean, Rebecca. You made Daisy feel good about herself. Oh, I see. I do do that, don't I? Yay, me! How would you like to take on the rocket? Huh? On your marks. Get set. Go! But I'm far too fast for you, Stephen. No offence. None taken. And no offence to you either. But you're not too fast for me anymore. I could race laps around you. <laughs> no. I, I can't race. Not after what happened with my coupling rod. Coupling rod? Coupling rod? Don't talk to me about coupling rods. Back in my day, Connor, we wouldn't have worried about coupling rods. I mean, we had parts snap off and bits come loose. Some engines I worked with even exploded. Kapow! But did they give up? No! They picked themselves up, got their parts back together and carried on racing like the heroes they were. Hard-working, steam-driven railway engines who like to go fast. Not like you, Connor. But I do like to go fast. Then get out there and prove it. Go on, you can do it. You can be bang on time all over again. You're right! I can do it! I can do it! I'll be bang on time again! Woohoo! Woo! <laughs> 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 Go, Connor! Level! <laughs> wow, 
Wow, Steven, that was a great pep talk. Did those engines you worked with really put themselves back together after they exploded? Don't be silly, Thomas. <laughs> I made that bit up. But sometimes you need a good story just to get things back on track again. And it got Connor going, didn't it? <laughs> At last, Connor felt like himself again. He was fast, he was happy, and he was eager to be bang on time. <laughs> That's it! That's it! That's it! Oh, I knew we could do it! I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Thanks, Paxton! <laughs> My pleasure! Thomas, tip top, everything's under control. Okay, Samson, can you stop, please? I need to be uncoupled now. There's no time to stop, Thomas. Already late. So Samson pulled Thomas all the way to Brendam Docks, whether he liked it or not. Samson here, sir, at your service. Brought more stone from the quarry, sir, as requested. What are you playing at, Samson? This is the first delivery you've made all morning. Oh, uh, yes, sir. That's correct, sir. Unexpected delay, sir. Got stuck on Gordon's Hill. Well, I'm not surprised. You're pulling far too many cars. And what on earth is Thomas doing at the back of your train? Oh, I might have known you'd be involved too, Thomas. It's my fault Thomas is here. Thomas only helped me over the hill. Didn't want to stop to have him uncoupled. Trying to save time and be efficient, sir. But you're not saving time, Samson. You're causing confusion and delay. By the time Samson got back to the quarry, Thomas was already loaded and ready to go again. Uh, sorry, Thomas. Didn't mean to get you into trouble back there. That's all right, Samson. It was you who really got into trouble. My own fault? Never mind. Need to learn from my mistakes. So, I guess you won't be taking so many cars next time? Certainly not, Thomas. That would be silly. <laughs> But as Thomas was approaching Gordon's Hill again, Samson came racing from behind. And this time, he was pulling only one car. <laughs> Samson? You could take more than that. I know, Thomas, but it's much quicker this way. Saves time in the long run. Oh. <laughs> but Thomas knew Samson wasn't really saving time. He was just being silly again. <laughs> <laughs>